I've been waiting so long for this game, bro. Just a slider until the first step is barely visible. I, I could just do one. Yeah, let's do that. So, I've played the past three games on this channel, and now we got the fourth one, which is Iron Bark Lookout. Let's just play it. Yeah, so last time we had Carson House. Two hours? It gets longer every time. Fifth episode coming soon. Alright, let's go. New game. Here's Fathom episode 4. Iron Bark Lookout. May 12th. Hey, I noticed you were requesting story submissions while I was watching a YouTuber play Fierce of Fathom Carson House. What I'm about to recount happened when I was 24 or so at the time. It feels kind of weird telling anyone about this because of the, because of the bizarre and absurd nature of this whole thing. But I feel like doing so might help me process my memories of it. I knew that sharing the story anywhere else would be a dumb idea because people would say I was lying. As I'm writing this, this was the scariest experience of my life. I'm Jack Nelson, had a small job as a park ranger in a state park. I was a fire lookout, stationed in one of the largest forests in the Pacific Northwest. Miles and miles of dense forests managed by the Forestry Service. I had a salary that allowed me to make ends meet, but I couldn't afford to treat myself to restaurants, nice clothes, etc. My biggest accomplishment so far was being able to buy an RV for myself with a lot of financial help from my dad. That RV was the only sense of home I had at the time. This one time, I was transferred from one outpost to another because of some official circumstances. It was a minor inconvenience to me, though, since I lived out of my RV <clears throat> and liked traveling. I said a few goodbyes, and I was off to the new location. It was about a two-hour drive. Oh, no. So we're driving an RV. Kayla Nelson. I can't text and drive. I remember talking about love with the girl. Now head up on the other side. Oh. Do I have to stop? Can I just stop on the side of the road? Let's do that. I'll just stop at the side of the road. There we go. All right, Mitch Scott and Kayla Nelson. How's it looking? So my way, Van decided to pull a flat tire on me today out of all days. Isn't it late? If I don't starve to death before arriving, I'll be fine. Did you pass Roseburg? Yeah, no, no why. I forgot my video, I'm sorry. You'll probably see Billy at the gate, just show him your ID. I'm gonna check out this RV. Shit. Got a whole bathroom that I cannot fit? Okay. I cannot fit in the bathroom. <laughs> okay, go outside. Oh, yo. No, I'm scared already. <laughs> go back inside. <laughs> oh, the radio. That's my bag. Alright, let's just continue driving. I lived a very solitary life. It helps me quiet my mind, keep the memories at bay. Howdy. Oh, birds. What's that? I've always loved the great outdoors. Me too, buddy. Just being surrounded by nature gave me happiness. I felt like I was at home in the woods. My god, bro. Let's check Best burgers in town, huh? There's not people behind me, is there? <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> Should I stop? It's a diner. Should I stop one of the diners? I saw that diner Kayla was talking about. Okay, here we go. So, should I stop here? Maybe I can try and park. Okay. I was very proud of my driving. Yeah. Oh, hello, sir. I'm just gonna park right here if I can. 
cause the Stop. weather's cold And I'm knowing life is fast And you know I got you but I'm always on my ass This thing is hard to park Okay, we're almost there, keep going I should have taken it easy <laughs> Okay, you know what, just fucking just park it right here God damn it, I can't Get out, get up Okay Oh uh, yeah, don't mind my parking skills. Hello, sir. Are you enjoying that burger? How's that burger? This little piece of heaven. This this place is pretty much my weekend spot. You new around here? Just passing through. Have a safe journey. God, bro. I ran to that gate that, or that fence. Welcome to Twin River Diner. How are you doing today? Good, how about you? Feel free to take any seat you like, and I'll be right there with you. Right, cool. Didn't mean to click on you. I'll just sit right here. Good evening, I'm Barbara. Are you ready to order? Yes. So what can I get you today? A grilled cheese sandwich, meatball, cheeseburger with fries. Aha, our burger is the best in the West. Do you like anything to drink? Large Coke. Perfect. Anything else? That'll be all. Great. I'll bring the fruit. I'll bring the food out as soon as it's done. Just let me know if you have any. If you need anything else. Oh, I've always had this habit of peeing before eating. All right. Well, gotta go to the bathroom. Where's your bathroom? Oh, right here. Cool. Oh God, we're peeing again. Oh, I get to aim. <laughs> oh, I missed. Oh, I spilled. Oh, whoops. Right into the hole. Right into the hole. Okay, there we go. Wash our hands. Oh, should I flush the toilet? There we go. Oh, I should do that first. Now we just wash our hands. I got germy hands again from touching the handle. Hello, sir. Why do you got a shovel? The f uh, do you mind if I join you? Pretty long day at work, man. How's the food? He just stared at me. <laughs> Why do you got a shovel? What's with this man, bro? Long day of driving, huh? Where are you headed? I'm heading up north to make a delivery. What about you? My staff are at Ironbark State Park. So is it true? Whatever they saw happen to those kids the other day? What? I need to go. Oh, I don't even know what he's talking about. You look a little lost. I'm just passing through. So where are you headed? Oh, that's great. I didn't know these jobs still existed. What do you do? I work in finance. I'm a financial analyst for a big firm downtown. That sounds interesting. Do you like your job? Yeah, it's challenging, but I enjoy it. It keeps me busy, that's for sure. I think I can handle a job like that. That's, that's impressive. Yeah, I guess so. I can be a bit of a roller coaster sometimes. But I don't hate what I do. Alright, so we sit back down. There's another person to talk to. But... Where are my damn food? Maybe she's still gonna get it. I can't get back up. I'm just stuck here. Oh, there she comes. Hello, Barbara. I love burgers. Like, a good burger at any restaurant? Mm -mm -mm. Eat that up. Mm -hmm. Oh, she gave me all the dips, too. I figured it'd be a while before I had a meal like this again. Eat some of the fries. Put in that ranch dip. Drink the huge swig. Gotta love huge swig. Refreshing. So did you have going? How was it? I'm here. Still eating. This is so good. Alright, I'm done. Did you, info did you enjoy the food? Yeah, it was great. Do you like to have anything else or should I ha get the check? Check, please. Okay, I'll be right back. Told ya. <laughs> Jesus, how do you type that fast? This food reminds me. You should send me that casserole recipe you were talking about. 
I might get a chance to immerse myself in the art of cuisine in the new lookout. Wow, yes. I'm on my way home. Send you in a bit. Oh, here she comes with the check. Here's a check. Your total is $6. I'll give you a tip, too. 50%. Hope you enjoy the rest of your ride. Thanks. Alright. What about you? Please leave me alone, okay? <laughs> My fault. I just like talking to people, that's it. Alright, now we gotta get back to my RV. Without crashing anything else. Oh my god, look how close it is to that car. Why is it open? I left my door open. Oh nah, there's definitely someone in here. Hey! Bathroom door is strangely jammed. Oh nah. Oh nah, there's someone in there. There's someone in there. I left the door open. Did I actually leave the door open? Oh my gosh. Bro. I don't feel safe. No. No. Just continue driving. Oh god. Without crashing. Okay. Yep, I wasn't very proud of my driving either. Okay. Just, we'll, we'll get out of this mess. There's definitely someone in the bathroom. If you like. How can you drive this fucking bag? <laughs> Hey, let me out, please. All right, here we go. Right, watch for cars. All right, go. Oh, I'm on the other side of the road. Oh, this thing turns so bad. Oh shit! Oh shit! Hey, how's it going? Eight o two p.m. my phone. God damn it. Wait, what'd it say? I want to include the location of this park. But I don't want anyone seeking out the utter horrors I've seen in these woods. So we don't know where this is. Do I go this way or do I park? I drove past the trailer first. Oh my gosh. Alright, back up. Just back up. Without getting hit. Real ended from behind. Is this where I'm supposed to be? Maybe I should turn the car off. Did I close the door? Hold on. Turn the car off. Turn the radio off. So is this it? Oh, I do not like this. Where am I going? Around? Oh, the gate's right there. Is the bathroom still jammed? Oh my god. There's someone in the in the, the freaking RV. Also, it is a foot trail. Oh, I'm just gonna leave it right here, bro. What the fuck? Bye. <laughs> Holy moly, you scared me. I thought you were one of them. You scared me. May Lord have mercy. Anyways, can I see your permit, please? Oh, I'm not a camper. Oh, you're Billy Light. I'm the new transfer lookout. Is that correct? I didn't know we were hiring this seat. Hang on, let me check that. Close the door. There's a man out there. Is that stranger? No. Huh. Okay. Cool. I probably should park my, my, my RV some. 
Okay, pal, you're good at... You're good to go. You're staff at Fire Tower 11. I apologize for the confusion. I was under the impression that the tower would be left unstaffed for this season. But here are your keys. Let me open the trail gate for you. We got the tower key. Y'all see that? Tower key. Right there. We got the tower key. Uh, let me open the trail gate. So I have to go on foot? Since you're arriving this late, you might also need the flashlight for the long hike to your lookout. Thank you, Billy. We have to walk there. You be careful, take this. Welcome to Iron Bark, pal. Now for our purposes, when you get to your tower, be sure to make your first weather report from your system just to we know you clocked in safely. If need be, you can reach out to Tower 12 during your staffing. Nice enough, guy. He'll be your closest contact in any case of emergency. Thank you, Billy. Hey. Just a piece of advice. Don't travel any further than half a mile or so north of your tower. Why? Dangerous woods that way, pal. Bobcats and bears. Nasty business. You got it. I thought he was trying to scare me, but he looked dead serious. Oh, I hate how this flashlight is. I left my, my bag in my RV at first. Oh my gosh. Well, you didn't tell me to get the bag. I don't know what this game wants me to do. Well, here we go. We're going hiking. Foot trail, no bikes, only, only horses stay on the trail. 11.32 p.m. That's how long of a... It was a long hike and it started to get cold now. Oh my gosh, dude. Tower 11. Hey, were we Tower 12? Yeah, we're Tower 12. I forgot how creepy this game actually was. What is going on, bro? Is this... Non... That's not the tower, right? I don't got that tower. Iron Bark Tower 11, 170 feet. Lacey Trail, 3.2 miles. Gold Creek Trail. Okay. Wait, I'm Tower 11. Living in a fire tower is not a glamorous job. Imagine being out here alone for weeks at a time. It's not for everyone. But I've always had a fondness for the outdoors. Got an outhouse? Cool. Glad that there's no random person in there. I don't like how there's a shack down there either. This is our tower. I sent the stairs to the top of the tower. another tower over there. Once you're on top of the tower, your job is to look for fires or anything out of the ordinary. There we go. Cabin was filled with the aroma of wood, giving me a sense of comfort. Turn on the lights. Forgot to turn on that generator. I was finally in my new home for the next few months. So I gotta turn on a generator. Is that the shack down there? Alright, let's run downstairs. I'm not trying to walk all the way down. This makes me feel very uncomfortable. I like the woods in all, but like, this whole thing is just terrible. Where is the generator? It's not a generator. That's not generate. Well, hold on, is it down here? Ah. Alright, we don't need no flashlight no more. Ah. 
Ah. All right. Let's put the bag right there. Should I sleep? Oh, I have to make that uh this thing right. That's just a radio. Radio equipment was sitting on a wooden table. Password? Check the iron bark rules flyer. Oh my gosh. Iron bark. Oh, system password is iron bark tower number. Iron bark 11? Rainbow 98. Hello there, it's Smiley, your trusty virtual assistant here to help you make the most of your computer today. Hello, Smiley. Plague. Good evening, Tower 11. How's your day going? Click it to click, here's a random fact for you. The Grand Canyon in the United States is not only breathtaking, but it's also incre incredibly old. It's estimated to be around 6 million years old. Ra yeah, Amazon rainforest produces 20% of the world's oxygen. It's often referred to as the lungs of the earth for its crucial role in the generating like oxygen we breathe. Okay, wait, what do I need to do? Console? What's the play game? Oh, that's a game. Looks like you're ready to take on some zombies and have a blast. Good luck and aim for the head. <laughs> okay. Service reporting. Welcome to the state of the art service reporting. New guy. Haven't gotten your name yet. What is it again? I saw your light turn on. I gotta say, it's refreshing to see Tower 11 alive again. I'm Connor. Fire Tower 12. Isn't that the job? We've had to cover your area until you arrived. Anyways, what brings you to this towering paradise of ours? Just, just looking for a change. I'm a transfer from Iron Horse. An experienced comrade. I can see why Mitch picked you. I'm really tired. You got a fire going? No. Get her lit. The temperature is about to plummet. You don't want to sit through the storm shivering. Got it, thanks. I mean get a fire going. Oh, here we go. There's no firewood. Did you light it up yet? The wood stove should be around the entrance. Get her lit. Where's all the wood? Do I have to go down and get wood? Oh my gosh. Okay, I'll be back. Connor was on the radio line. Bro, what you mean? I'm trying to get wood. There's no firewood. No firewood? There must be plenty in the shack. That's all Marley did. Marley? The who was in the lookout before you. She was... one gritty woman. Anyways, you better get that fire going. You don't want to sit through the storm. Gasoline must be in your cabin. But if not, you can always grab your supplies from the storage shack. So maybe it's in the storage shack then? Here's a firewood. Do I have to go up one by one? Oh my gosh, bro. This is gonna be miserable. Oh, need gasoline. Uh, 
Here's oh, here's gasoline. Ah! Uh! Fucker. Oh god. If I light it, am I gonna? Oh god. No, let me get to it. Better get to it then. Here at Iron Bark, you are required to report every night before signing off. You don't want to disappoint Mitch on your first night. How do I report out? Temperature in Fahrenheit? What's it mean, report? I don't know. Eighteen knots. Okay. So I put this in the computer, right? Wind speed. Eighteen. Temperature in Fahrenheit. Temperature in Fahrenheit. Oh, don't want to spill that. Okay, fine. Uh, how do I get the temperature? Oh, I got a whole ass like. Oh, that's cool. Alright, keep that. Put it like on my bed. But how do I get the temperature? I wouldn't say it's cloudy, right? Number of hikers assisted. Zero. Mist clear. I said clear, right? Temperature in Fahrenheit. That's what I don't know. It's an axe right there. I don't know. Well, oh! Temperatures was 45.8. Wait, should I pick it? Can I pick it up though? 45.8. Reported by Jack, right? Copy, new guy. Right here. Good night, Connor. I'll talk to you tomorrow. Report submitted it. 2002? Oh, huh. Alright. So, go to sleep then? Okay. 3.26 a.m. Unintelligible. 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 Get up. Oh, the power went out. Connor? I had to pee. Oh my god. Where is my flashlight? Oh, okay. There's the power still on. 
On my first night, being out of my cabin gave me a strange feeling. Well, yeah, it's 3 a.m. Being left here alone was somewhat unsettling. Can I go downstairs, please? Space to pee. I'm gonna pee right off the. the <laughs> okay. I didn't think that's what you meant. There's a freaking outhouse right downstairs, so. Woohoo! Woohoo! <laughs> oh, there's hikers down there. Oh, sorry. Peeing on you. Oh, no. Oh, it's everywhere. Oh, no. It's like going on a carnival ride and then just peeing right off it. <laughs> or spitting off it. Wait, why did I say that? <laughs> Yo, uh-uh. Yo, there was someone down there. Let's go back to sleep. Yeah, turn off the lights. There was someone down there. Nah. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Night two. Oh! It's just you and the wind. The time just melts away. Beautiful. Look at look at the birds. You got this beautiful sunrise in the forest. And there was a guy right down there, but we're just gonna not remember that. Pretend that didn't happen. Peace. This is peace. Take a photo. Yes, I will take a photo. Scroll to zoom. Now this is perfect right here. But the tower, tower 12 right there. Boom. In fact, take a picture for Steam. Can I take a picture of the birds? Let's take a picture of the birds. There we go. Space to get off. Wait, I was sitting on top of it? Oh. Yeah, there's a guy right down there, dude. Like, Oh, look at the... Oh, the windows are all open. Like, the blinds. Do you copy? Copy that, Connor. What's up? Son of a bitch. Excuse me. Nobody bothers to get a camping permit these days anymore. You have eyes on the smoke north of your position. Let me have a look. North. My hands were full. Get this fuck thing. Oh, I see him. The smoke is white, indicating a, of a campfire. I see that. I need you to confirm. Do you see that smoke up north? You spot that white smoke up north? Yeah, I see it. It appears to be in the Lazy Trail sector, which is not a registered campsite. People like that don't bother to clean up after themselves. Fire risks are high this season. Am I checking it out? Okay, I'm heading north. I'll report back on it. Stay safe out there. Don't forget to carry your bear spray in these woods, new guy. Over and out. Over and out. Okay, so... Bear spray. Flashlight. Let's go. This is daytime. So we gotta go... Burns the orange smoke. Should I, should I brought a comp compass? No, you just walk right through the woods. Or not. Yep, okay. Walk down the trail. <sighs> Caution, bears in area. 8.37 p.m. God damn. See, I told you you should have brought a flashlight. I followed the trail that led me to the smoke. What was that? 
Yo. Hello? I'm sorry, Kay. I don't I don't think my sector is very good service. Do for my tower and thanks for the recipe my try tonight. Okay, cool. Uh to put it out I'm good bro All right, put the fire out keep bear spray Who's there? Anybody there? Show yourself. I hate this. I'm leaving. Nope. Done with that. Just go. No. No. 9.07 p.m. As I hiked back to the tower through the dark, I couldn't shake the sense that something was terribly wrong. My mind couldn't help but think of what might have happened. Oh, God. I got the spray at hand, like, I am not afraid to use it. Hell no. Just go, just go, just go. Up the stairs we go. Do, do, do. Nah. I'd report to Connor about, what the, about the vacant campsite. Connor, do you copy? Hey, Connor, do you copy? Loud and clear, new guy. I was just cooking myself some hot... Well, first, what's your status? Talk about the campsite. Are you kidding me? Son of a bitch. They never learn, do they? What do you mean? I am sick of these bastards. It's unbelievable. Has this ha been happening a lot? This is the third time this month alone. Oh, Anything shit. else you notice in those woods? Mention Scream. A scream? Must have been one of those red foxes. They sound pretty much like a screaming lady at night. It was a manly scream. I don't know what you're talking about, new guy. But I heard from the rangers that a lot of campers have been flocking to that area lately because of the disappearance of those three kids. Kids went missing in that area? About a month ago. They were hiking with their families. They went off the trail and just vanished. No trace of them since. What does this have to do with this campers? What happened to the... Well, people have started spreading rumors that the area might be haunted by some... Entities. Oh, no. Nah. It's crazy, I know. You would think these rumors would scare people off, but apparently it's been the opposite. Sometimes, I only wish they were true. Well, at least now you know why Mitch had to staff Tower 11 urgently. That's unsettling. You guy? I hope you don't believe those rumors. Do you? No. Great. Anyways, thanks for staying vigilant. I gotta contact the authorities so they can take care of this commotion first thing in the morning. We can't tolerate these goons anymore. If they find them, I'll personally make sure they never set foot in this forest again. Agreed. Keep me updated. Will do. Over and out. Over and out. Nah, bro, this is unsettling. Should I do another service reporting? I think that's my job, right? Alright, so... Do the same thing again. Mom hit the kestrel. Nom nom hey. Look at that photo, make my summer growl. Oh man. It looks like the one from Fears to Fathom 1. 
Well, that was lasagna, right? Not casserole. Alright, here we go. Do this. We got 19 knots tonight. Oh, that's wind speed. 19. It's clear, right? Hold on, let's see. I say it's like a bit more cloudy. Why not safe? Okay, and then oh wait, that's temp that's temperature. Nineteen. And then a little cloud. Zero. Temperature in Fahrenheit. Forty six point one. Hackers assisted zero reported by Jack. Report submitted at 907 p.m. Clear cloud, clear cloud, cloud. Hackers assisted one. I guess it's three. Joshua has assisted three today. At 8.43 p.m. Yeah, so Joshua said the same thing. This was recently. 19 knots. 22 knots. 50 degrees. Clear. Cloud 18. And yeah, 901. Yeah, okay. So everyone said the same thing I did. Cool. Alright. So am I good? Turn the radio back on. Make a fire too. Probably should, right? Let's go make another fire. Let's get some more wood. I swear to God. What if I check the outhouse? You know what? Nah, I'm not gonna do that. Fuck that. Just grab it and go. Oh god, I got chills. I got chills. I heard whistling and I'm gone. <laughs> okay. Is that? Oh, I need to do the gasoline. Alright, should I close these shades? How do I do it? Or can I just go to bed? I was too hungry to go to bed without food. Oh. Oh, okay, here we go. Ingredients, uncooked pizza, marinara sauce, pepperoni, mozzarella cheese, diced tomatoes. Marinara sauce? Where's marinara sauce? Do I have to go downstairs? Please don't. Repeat after me. Only you can prevent fires. <laughs> Dude, I actually saw that billboard today. The safest park. Iron Bark State Park. Only you can prevent fires. Oh, fridge. Here we go. Marinara sauce. Bang. Pepperonis. Pepperoni. I'll put this in there too. I'm not sure that what. Okay. Put that back. So it's pepperoni. Mozzarella cheese. Uh, diced tomatoes. There we go. Alright. 
that in there. Uh, do I have to? Come. Connor? Just reported their ass to the authorities. Good job. What would they say? Don't worry. Forest Service Agency will take care of it first thing in the morning. That's relieving. Hope they can track them down and give them a piece of their mind. Tell you what. I think I'm gonna hit the sack now. I know it's been a tough day, but you're doing an excellent job up there. Thank you, Connor. Go over 12, signing off. Good night, Connor. Cool. I just remember the smell of the fresh sizzling cheese. I liked eating in bed. Oh boy. This could be just like Fears of Fathom 1. Mm -mm -mm. Delicious. I was already full. I don't feel safe. So I just put it. Okay, that too. Nope. Oh, put that back. Put that back. Oh my gosh. Uh. Can I like close these? Oh, here we go. Okay. That'll work. And go to sleep. I always close the boards outside, but I have to close all of them. Oh my gosh. I mean, I would too, but there we go. Oh, I'll close this one. Oh, there's no board there. All right. Two twenty-seven a.m. I was woke by some feeling that caused my eyes to drift open. He went downstairs. Oh. oh, the game wanted me to open the door. I am not doing that shit. Fuck no. Oh, shit. Fuck. What does the game want me to do? I would be watched. Hide? What's hiding gonna do? Huh. 
I hate that feature. Should I go check? Bro. Mm -mm. I don't want to. I don't know what to make of that moment. Nope. That's what you just do that, man. The only logical thing I could do is to contact Connor. Yep. Exactly what I'm about to do. I just start spraying, bro. Connor, do you copy? I need to talk to you. It's urgent. Hello? Do you have any idea what time it is? There's something outside my door. I just couldn't wait until morning. You mentioned the skull. Tell you what, new guy. It's probably best to ignore these kids messing around. I suspect that's what Marley got tired of. I don't think these are the kids messing these around. Kids can be pretty creative with these pranks. They watch too many horror movies. Maybe they thought it would be funny. This seems like a, some, some real ritual. This is serious. You don't understand, do you? Connor didn't make any sense. So there's, there's nothing else I can do in the dark. Yep. Damn right. Going right to sleep. Night three. Bro, nah. I'm about done. Next day I woke up not being able not being so sure if last night was real or just a dream. Connor kind of tried to reason it as just a harmless prank by some kids. But there's something about that night that just felt darker. There is something strange happening in those woods. 8.34 p.m. Bro, already into it? Oh, nah. What are we looking for? I occupy most of my days either with a simple maintenance tower. Why is it- Why is the goggles all stained up? Am I scanning that dead scene around with these trees all around me? Bro, what's with the freaking goggles, bro? Why are they so- My paranoia for these woods only grew after last night, which led me to ex extra vigilant moving forward. Bro, what is with- what did you do? A oh, hold clean. Clean that up. Clean this up. Clean this all up. There we go. Clean it all up. There we go. Oh, hell nah. That's a flare. There's a flare. My door. There it is. It's that way, right? Hello? Is anyone there? I, I need help! Please, someone answer. Shit. Hello? Can anyone hear me? This is Jack, Tower 11. Oh, I, I hear you loud and clear. Oh, thank goodness. I I'm lost, and I'm, I'm really starting to freak out. Take a deep breath. Okay, okay. <sighs> What's going on? What's the situation? I... I don't even know where to start. I, I went out to explore the area and lost track of time. And, and now it's dark and I can't remember the trail back to my truck. I think... I think I'm lost. Can you just... Uh, which... What equipment do you have with you? I have a flashlight, a compass, a fully charged two-way radio, a flare gun, and, and some of my camping equipment. What is your current location? Uh, I'm in the middle of the woods. On this trail surrounded by trees. Everything looks different at night. I thought shooting a few flare gun shots might get someone's attention, but no one's come yet. All it did was light up the trees and make everything look even scarier. I just want to find a way out of here. Do you remember any landmarks? I, I remember passing a small stream earlier. What direction are you facing right now? I'm walking towards west right now, because I remember walking east when I came here. Oh, thank goodness. I see it. See what? I'm at a trail intersection now, but I can't remember if I should take the right trail or the left to get back to the trailhead. Let me Can you help me? Okay, so he's... Let me scan the map and get back to you. Shit, this is the part where I get killed. He passed the stream. He's heading west. Bro. 
What is with the music? Uh, hello? Uh, are, are you still there? Both of these trails seem pretty similar. Uh, I'm just so anxious about making a mistake and going further away from the road. Please help. Okay. I got you, man. Wait, he's going west? So I, I think he's up here, right? He's, he's up here. He's at an intersection. This is like... Okay, hold on. Trail River. This is a river. Okay, so trail. Trail intersection, he says. I think I should say go left. I'm at a trail intersection now, but I can't remember if I take should the left take trail. Right. <laughs> I knew it. I thought it looked familiar. I couldn't have trusted myself with this decision. <laughs> Thanks for helping me through this. Make decisions in the direct reach. Hope you reach back to the trailhead safely. I'm right here. What? What do you mean? I hear you. I hear your whistles. That's not me. What? I see you behind the trees to my right. That's not me. You're freaking me out. Holy moly, what took you so long in there? Oh my god, bro. I was knocking for hours. I was asked to check in on you. What were you up to, pal? I was assisting a lost hiker. At this hour? May the, may god, may the god be merciful. Anyways, got your tower supplies here. Just the usual essentials. Here you go. I feel like I'm going to pass out if I keep holding this for one more second. What were you doing there last night? What do you mean? Up north, why were you there? I, w I wouldn't screw around out there, pal. I was, re I was required to investigate and not campfire smoke. Oh lord, have mercy. Nasty business up there, pal. Bobcats and bears. You be careful out there, pal. These woods aren't normal and there's stuff out there that would love to get a piece of you. Not to mention, you'd be quite a distance from help if anything happened. I've got enough to keep me occupied here. Absolutely, it's a busy job. Yeah? My friend? Absolutely, it's a busy job. I've been hearing you've been a bit on the edge. Every, everything all right? Just getting, just get getting used to the new environment. Mention the skull. Oh Lord, have mercy! Did you take a photo of it before cleaning it up? No, I didn't think about it. You know what's best? We don't dwell on these things, pal. Besides, we can't do anything without the evidence. Anyways, it's getting late. I better get going now. Just keep watch. Thanks for the supplies. Oh my god. I was too hungry to get 
Go to bed without food. Bro, I'm done, bro. I'm done. I'm done for, actually. Oh, wait, should I, I'll finish this. I'll finish this up. There we go. Microwave that. Get more, probably should get more firewood, too. liked eating in bed. Still a report to do, right? Okay. Um. Service reporting. Let's measure the knots. Twenty-five knots. Temperature is 56.1. Um, is it clear? Yeah, it's pretty clear. I wasn't sure if I had to put the right weather condition. Missed. you mean oh pretty windy okay can I go to bed now it's getting cold I thought oh my god I don't even want to step a foot outside, dude. We're bringing... No, I can't bring that. Alright, just speed, just speed, just go, 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 go. You give me a heart attack. I understand loneliness can make the mind play tricks on you. Who are you? No need to be alarmed. I'm a worker. I was just doing some routine maintenance on the radio tower over there. Thought I'd stay. Thought I'd say hi to the new guy everyone's been talking about. Do you usually work this late? Every Sunday, just trying to keep the communication lines open. I must have assured that the right message reach the right places. Wouldn't you agree? I agree. Fire risks are high this season. Absolutely. But some fires are meant to burn. And no amount of prevention could stop them. What do you mean? Nature has its own plans. Some things can't be controlled, no matter how hard we try. And sometimes disasters are just another form of cleansing, a way for the land to purify itself. I should head back to the tower now. Have a good night, Jack. Hope you sleep well, but remember... Curiosity can lead to places you'd rather not go. Yo, how'd you know my name is Jack? Oh, cause, well, yeah, it would say on the report, right? Yeah, okay. Farewell, Jack. The, the guy gave, gave out the creepiest vibes. Where's that wood? What's even down here? An extra flashlight, extra light, extra gasoline. Okay. I am just gonna go right on up to my tower. Fuck this shit. Ok. 
Okay. I see the smoke coming out of your tower. Don't tell me you're not in there. New guy, you there? You copy now. Right here. <sighs> Finally. I've been trying to reach you for a while now. Where have you been? Ran into Scylla's downstairs. Ran into who? The guy maintaining that nearby radio tower? <sighs> Is this about yesterday? What do you mean? You trying to yank my chain now? What do you mean? That radio tower's been out of service for ages now. It was closed down years ago after a lightning strike fried its systems, and its repair cost was deemed too costly. Its repair date was postponed until the next big funding, which is no time soon, according to Mitch. Then who did I just talk to? Look, if what you're saying is true, it could be another one of those goons playing pranks on you. He knew my name. Knew your name? You think he's been listening? Possibly. Either way, disguising as a staff member is strictly forbidden according to park guidelines. Next time you see him, get his information, or take a photo. We need to figure this out. Sure. Anyways, I'm seeing that you've already reported. I think I'm gonna hit the sack now. Good night, Connor. Tower 12, signing off. Over and out. Good night, over and out. Oh, I, I went to sleep with the boards up. That's fine, right? My unease was starting to grow within with each passing day. So when I signed off that night, I told myself that it was just a change of environment that I needed to get used to. The strangeness I'd seen so far in those woods was not enough to cause an alarm yet. However, that would change. That would soon change. Two nights later. Bro, it is so... Oh, it is so dark in my room. No. Oh. Hey guy, you got a minute? No, okay, hold on. I need to... I need to turn on a light because I'll make I'll keep it dark, but I'm just gonna turn on one little light. There. It's kind of it's still kind of dark in here, but all right. Well, sure. Good news. Just heard from the HQ. They say we've got a new system update on the computer. They just wanted me to let you know. They say it's an important security update. No more snoopers, I guess. Thanks for letting me know. Server version mismatch. Try updating system. How do I system update? Checks for available system update. Checks for current version. Install system update with. Pa oh, update. Please enter the update package code. What's that? How do I update the computer? Well, to be honest with you, all this new technology is not really my thing. Dare I say it, these computers are probably going to take all our jobs one day. Yeah. On it. But what is the code? Uh, iron bark leather. What is the package code? Well, there I say it. Anyway, I'm sure a young man like you can figure. Bro, oh my gosh. Welcome to Ironbark State Park. If you're watching this video, then let me be the first to say congratulations. You have been commissioned by the Ironbark Fire Department to protect one of the most prestigious parks in the state of Washington. What? Established in 1897, we've been known as one of the safest parks in America. 
We hope you can keep it that way for many years to come. This training video will ensure that you work to the best of your abilities. You've been selected as one of our Fire Lookout Observers. This is a truly rewarding job which requires many hours of hard work. You will be working in our state-of-the-art lookout towers. And the following is a list of responsibilities you will have. Keep watch for fire! Fire isn't going to be noticeable all of the time, so also keep watch for smoke. Make sure to know what color the smoke is. It may be crucial information. Fires are best stopped before they spread out of hand. Keep records of daily temperature. When the temperature rises, it is best that we have those recorded. The science nerds at the Panoramic Preservation Society require us to note all changes in temperature. We think it's best not to get into a lawsuit. Keep records of daily wind speed. Wind is a big factor when it comes to fire. Use the anemometer to scientifically gather the data. After collecting the data, input it into our state-of-the-art service reporting form. This is a highly complicated form, often used by NASA employees. So don't be too ashamed if you can't figure it out at first. You have the privilege of using such a form. Keep campers out of unregistered campgrounds. The campers might start a campfire which could lead to a wildfire. They will not always listen to authority, so take precaution when escorting them. Make sure to know whether the person is a threat. If you're worried about your safety, do not hesitate to dial 911. Keep maintenance of the park. Make sure the park is kept clean. We oh. have a status to uphold. Now that you know most of the duties that a fire lookout has, you're ready to start. Mostly. <laughs> we hope that you have a great season out there on the tower. Try not to damage any of the equipment. And remember, if you see smoke, don't joke. Call the authorities and notify them of the predicament immediately. <laughs> what? Top of the morning is the name of the achievement. No way the guy is the employee training, bro. I had no idea he was in this game, bro. That caught me off guard. Sorry, I, I didn't say anything throughout the whole video. Wow, that's cool. I would have not have seen that if I'm not looking around, but I'm trying to find this freaking code. Jack, do you know the code for updating my system? Because I'm a bit lost. Checks for available system update. Update for service. Update three updates found in total. Update for service. Package version. Oh, package code. 434 6084. 434 6084. 434 6084. Package found looking for a serviceable lines. Center an active line. Let's go 1045. Line not available. 5987. 5487. Your system is now up to date. Oh. God. Come on, man. Where's my flashlight? Oh no. Power went out. Oh my god. I don't want to go out there. It is so rainy, bro.
Oh no. Oh god. One week later. Time was flying by. Connor's generator was under maintenance, which meant I had to cover his area for the past two days. When there were no fires going, the only thing I could do was check in on Connor twice a day. That might have been the only time I ever talked, unless I was talking to myself. 2.34 a.m. I mean, you got another one. Jack, you copy? Right here, Connor. Okay, tell you what. I don't have the energy to do this right now. What happened? I've been here busting my ass, working on that old piece of garbage generator. And now I'm seeing this. I'm seeing more smoke to my west. Looks like we got another camper. Bro. It appears to be in your sector. You see the campsite from your end? Let me have a look. Bro, really? Oh my gosh. West? Okay, bring bear spray. Where's the smoke? Over there? Oh my gosh, bro. Did feel safe going downstairs. What do you mean? Oh, I could just look, stare right at their window. Where's that telescope thing? There. Binoculars, I mean. The only thing I, I know what to make of it. The only thing that made sense at the time was to take evidence of it. Shit. What the hell? Oh, nah. Oh, nah. Move. Move.
I'm running. Where was I supposed to run? Bro. Okay, maybe I didn't have to run in that direction. Ooh, hide. Hide in the uh, porta potty. Flashlight. It was locked. <laughs> run to the RV, run to the RV. I'm out. As adrenaline kicked in. I hit the gas and drove to the nearest ranger cabin. Out of breath, I radioed in to alert the HQ. Look, Jack, we all... We all get a little stir-crazy out here, Mitch answered. Next morning, authorities allegedly ran a small investigation of the area, but of course they met with no signs of misconduct. No one ever believed my story. Dismiss it as a pr product of isolation. Just stick to looking out for fires, Mitch offered. However, that was the last time I ever set f my foot in those woods. The unease still sits heavy in my stomach. Even though many years have passed, the experience still feels vivid in my memory. My family thought I was making this whole thing up, which is really out of my character. But I know what I saw. Real or not, after dark, these woods can become a, a haven for illegal activities. So if any of you plan on going camping soon, please be safe. Survive through the fourth episode. I spelled fourth wrong. What a good game. Employee training, VA, Jack the guy. <laughs> Connor VA, Dylan Runge, PG, PGTV. Cool. Rail. Or, wait, is it Ray? Good job, Ray. Good game. Good game. Top donations. Shout out to all those people. Special thanks to all of you, including Jack Septiguy and the Discord community. Good game by Ray Studios. Cool.
What a great game. I cannot wait for episode five. Well, that's it for Fierce to Fathom. Iron Bark Lookout. If you enjoyed, smash the like, subscribe. I'll see y'all later. Peace.